Guys, greetings from Amber the Fuzzy Bunny today. Of course, it's a faux fur bunny, you guys know that, but you know, still can be cute. So today I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick little video for you guys. I have finally finished decorating my bathroom, so I thought it would be fun to go ahead and show you guys um, all my little tips and tricks to making it look fabulous, both on a budget and just, you know, balling out. <laughs> so without further ado, here we go. A DIY, very extra bathroom makeover. All right, so first I'm gonna show you my bathroom before. By the way, I filmed this part a couple days ago, so pardon the blonde hair and uh, the totally different outfit, but here's the before. <laughs> All right, so here's my bathroom before. You can see um, very just kind of nothing going on. Just super plain, there's nothing on the walls, nothing on the counters, nothing really anywhere, so. I just haven't decorated it at all. So you can see, um, here it is, and we're gonna go ahead and uh, do a couple DIY projects and give it a little makeover. Alrighty, are you guys ready to see the finished product? Hmm? Great. Ta da ta da ta da ta da Here is my new and improved bathroom! You can see it's finally decorated. By the way, this is my outfit of the day, which I didn't show yet. Ooh, so cute. You know, we've got like the black tights and the um, fuzzy sweater with the fuzzy hat. I actually made this, but I'll explain that in another video. So here we go. You can see one of the first things that I did when I moved in here. This is the sink. It's just plain silver. You know, you can see it was like that. And I'd actually seen on Tumblr a couple days before a beautiful golden sink that had like wings and a bird head and I was just dying and I totally wanted it, but it was like $500. So I didn't buy it. So I went ahead and did the little uh, broke bitch version and I bought some winged bookends and I just went ahead and kind of slid them in um, You can still use the sink because mine turned forward. So that's lucky But yeah, you can see it kind of created the same illusion especially when you're standing back like, you know You would never really know so that was fun gave you the look without the high price the pair of these was 40 bucks So super cool. I actually went ahead and put those in every bathroom in my house like you can see, I also put them here. Um, why I have two sinks, like I said, I don't really know, but I do. So here's my other vanity sink. So you can see it looks super fun, really just adds like some flair. Um, of course I've got, you know, self promo and my jewelry line right there. And then this was something you guys asked a lot about on Instagram. I'm literally obsessed with those super expensive flower arrangements that are like $500 for the little tiny container. I actually did a DIY of them a while ago. So I went ahead and did kind of an updated version with these. You can see these are actually real preserved roses, which look freaking beautiful in this container. This was another super quick, easy DIY. You can see I just bought these little preserved rose heads on Amazon. They're golden and really cool. Um, they were only 28 bucks too for the package, so pretty affordable for what they are because they'll live forever. So you can see I have the pile of rose heads right here. And then I just go ahead, stick them in the jar until they all look fabulous, all set around. Oh, look at that, beautiful. I went ahead and stuck one in the bottom there too for fun. And they look so good. You can see I doubled it, so they're one on each side to kind of give it like a fancy illusion. So totally a steal. Like I said, you can get the flowers on Amazon and make your own, so super fun. I'm gonna probably decorate like my whole house in roses. So anyways, back to the main bathroom. Um, you can see, like I said, I've also got the flower arrangement over there. Then, it literally took me so long to decide what kind of soap containers and stuff that I wanted, so I ended up getting vintage gold theme. So I actually ended up getting um, all of the decor, like this little thing, the soap container, my tissue container, all on Etsy. Like this is vintage from the 1950s, how cool is that? And it was only $20, so a steal and super cool. I went ahead and got a matching soap container, which actually isn't even a soap container. It was meant for hairspray, but I bought this other soap container instead, so it would match kind of the essence. Got a fun little decor tray too, which was also pretty cheap. I think this was like 30 bucks, so super, super fun. You can see yourself in there too. Bye. This is not flattering, okay, anyways. Also, I'm lucky enough to have real marble in my sink now, but if you're not, you can check out my video on doing your own marble countertops and of course, the video that started it all. The marble floors, which I'm also blessed enough to have now, which is such a dream. But if you don't, you can totally steal the look of real marble floors with the video that started my YouTube career. DIY marble floors, super easy and will totally transform your space. So make sure you check those out. That's a really easy way to do it. I love these floors so much. I'm willing to lay on my bathroom for this. That's dedication and it's kind of disgusting. So I'm going to get up now, but <laughs> moving along to this. Area. Um, you can see I'm not actually 150% done with this, but we'll go ahead and start with the shelf. I 
actually bought this shelf when it was silver. I found it at Home Goods for like $30. And I knew it'd be fun and easy to make it gold, so I went ahead and just bought some gold spray paint, laid it down, sprayed it overnight, and um, voila, boom, you got a gold shelf. Never be afraid to buy things and kind of make them your own. Painting stuff is easy. I buy stuff in the wrong color all the time. Good tip, good tip. Coming down from the shelf, again, I was just like, I don't know what you're supposed to put on top of a toilet. I put this perfume box there for now. I'm gonna change it. If you have any ideas, let me know. Um, I thought it would be fun. I am so basic. I think these fuzzy things are like so fun. My mom says they're tacky, but I love them. This gives your toilet a little more zest and life, so fabulous. I don't know why I'm pointing with my foot, but who cares? <laughs> From that, we'll move along to the towels, which I guess I have quite a bit to say about these actually. Towel rack was actually white, but I thought it was really ugly, so I went ahead and switched it out. I got this gold towel rack on Amazon Found for 30 bucks, just went ahead and replaced it. So it's so much more beautiful. Um, I need to fill in the holes, I haven't done that yet, but I will. But you can see the gold towel rack just makes it so much fancier and prettier. I did the same thing with the white toilet paper holder, I went ahead and got a matching gold one. This one's just so glam and fun. I shopped for exciting towels for a long time, checked online, couldn't find anything that I really thought was super fun, so I actually went ahead and made my own towels. Um, super easy, super cheap, and you can decorate them any way you want, so here's how I did that. So these were actually just plain black towels that I went ahead and put gold trim and fringe on to make them more exciting. What you can see was a super easy project. I just took two basic towels, then some fringe and some little gold foil, used my trusty E6000 glue to glue them on, design them yourself however you want. There's really no rules here. Let them dry and voila, look at that. Perfectly glamorous, fabulous extra towels. So now they look super cute like fancy hotel towels. All glam and fabulous. Got a bath mat, cause you need a bath mat. Um, here's my shower. I didn't really do too much in here cause like how do you decorate a shower? But I did go ahead and buy a um, I do not know what you call this. Oh my God, duh, a shower rack. Okay, so I bought a shower rack. So I went ahead and hung a shower rack over my little faucet head thing. So we've got my shampoo, conditioner, um, soap. I bought one of those like shower squeegee things cause I just love squeegeeing the shower. A loofah, of course, got my 99 cent razor, super cool. So there we go. Um, that's really all I did to the shower because I mean, what else can you really do to a shower? So that's that. I also went ahead and organized my drawers, which is something I've like never done in my life, but my mom would be so proud of me. So I'm gonna show it off because she watches my videos. Hi mom, love you. Okay, so you ready to be proud mama? Ta-da! Okay, so it still kind of looks like a mess, but I bought these super cool little drawer organizer thingies from Bed Bath & Beyond. They're just like little containers that you can kind of make fit in the drawer so it is organized. So you can see I just like put different sizes in there. And now everything has a compartment, which would, you know, be a lot better if I actually used the compartments, but you know, I'm trying. <laughs> Moving on to this area. So again, I just love mirrors. I think they're so fun and really open up a space. So even though I have a literally giant mirror right here, I thought it would be fun to put in another mirror. So I actually had this for my old apartment. So I just went ahead and hung it right there above the bathtub because I felt like it needed a little bit of spice. Hung some more DIY towels out in the front of it. And this is actually super funny. I don't know what this is, but I thought it was really ugly. So I went ahead and bought like another antique thingy and just, you know, I'm covering it because that looks better. A candle so it smells good and voila. And there you go, kids. That is my finished bathroom tour. And that is the end of that. So there you have it, you guys. That is my DIY bathroom makeover slash tour slash I know it's not like officially actually 100% done yet, but you guys can help me. So if you have any ideas, um, go ahead and let me know in the comments. I'm totally open to suggestions. And of course, of course, I will do a full apartment tour as soon as um, I have more things in my house than a mirror and a big empty wall. So, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Thank you again for everything. My home glow up was all because of you guys, so thank you so much for that. You guys are unbelievably amazing to me, so thank you so much, and um, I will see you guys next time. I love you, my sweet, beautiful, beloved baby angels. XO. There was really no point to that at all. I just felt like dancing. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> Bye, guys.